How do you calculate the sine, cos, tan, any trig ratio for special angles, which are multiples of 30, 60, 45, things like that? I like to use a four step process where the first thing you do is draw your angle on a grid. You draw a vertical line to create the triangle. You label it as one of the special triangles and then you determine the required ratio from that. And I'll show you what I mean. But one thing I do want to point out absolutely is that these are your two special triangles that you're going to have to memorize. One of them has two 45 degree angles. The side lengths are 1, 1, and the hypotenuse is root 2. Another one has angles of 30, 60. Across from the 60, is a side length of root 3, across from the 30 is a side length of 1, and the hypotenuse is 2. We'll come back to this, you have to memorize it. One of the questions that I want to answer is, what is the sine, cos, and tan of 210 degrees? So, by following the process, number one, draw your angle and draw a vertical line to create the triangle. So, here's my grid. Remember, this is 0 degrees. We call this 90, 180, 270. You can call this 360 if you want and keep going. But the point is that 210 degrees lies somewhere between 180 and 270. There we go. This angle is 210 degrees. It's a little more than 180. It's actually 210. How much more than 180 is it? It's actually just 30 degrees more. You can always get that number. If you're in this third quadrant, you can always get it from your angle minus 180 degrees. Draw a vertical line to make sure you have a triangle. And look, we have a 90 degree angle, a 30 degree angle, a 60 degree angle. That reminds me of one of my special triangles. In this case, across from the 30, we have 1. Across from the 60, we have root 3. And the hypotenuse is 2. Be careful. I want you to make your side lengths negative if you're going to the left or down. This arm goes to the left, so I'm going to call it negative root 3. This goes down, so I'm going to call it negative 1. And the hypotenuse is always, always, always positive. Keep that in mind. Now that I've labeled my special triangle, I can determine the required ratios. And this is where it gets easy. Once you've drawn it, it's easy to read what your ratios are. If I want the sine of 210 degrees, oh, 210 degrees. I just need to look at the angle closest to the origin and say the opposite over the hypotenuse. Remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Negative 1 over 2. If I want the cos of 210 degrees, I take my adjacent over my hypotenuse. Negative root 3 over 2. And if I want the tan, all I have to do is take opposite over adjacent. That's negative 1 over negative root 3. The negatives cancel each other out. That's 1 over root 3. What you'll find is that if you type sine 210 degrees into your calculator, you'll get negative 0.5. And this is the best and fastest way, in my personal opinion, to get exact trigonometric ratios for any special angle. Best of luck.